Assalamu alaikum. Today we'll talk about electronegativity. Previously we talked about electron affinity. And we knew that the, the electron affinity is the amount of heat released when the atom gains an extra electron. Now, the electronegativity is the tendency or the ability of the atom to attract electrons in the chemical bond to itself. So, apparently, we mentioned the chemical bond, and we can conclude from this that the electronegativity expresses the ability of the atom in the combined state. So, it's involved with another atom, while the electron affinity expresses the state of the atom in the single state. The electronegativity is expressed is expressed by values, so the higher the value of the electronegativity in an atom is the higher its ability to attract more electrons. In the periodic table, as we go from left to right in horizontal periods, we can notice that electronegativity increases by increasing the atomic number and decreasing the atomic radius. While as we go downwards in vertical groups, by increasing the atomic radius, accordingly the electronegativity will decrease due to increasing the distance between the nucleus and the outermost energy levels. So, the attractive forces of the nucleus will decrease, and this will in, uh, decrease the electronegativity. Finally, we have to know that fluorine is the most electronegative atom due to its atom small size, and at the same time it contains 9 electrons. So, there are strong repulsion forces between them, and this increases the electronegativity of this atom. And that the electronegativity of atoms play a very important role in expressing the types of bonds which occur in the chemical reactions between atoms, as we will know later. So this is it for today, and the next time we will talk about the metallic and the non-metallic properties of elements we all know the metals, the non-metals, and the metalloids. And until then, I thank you for watching and see you. So, Mike.